Hi, my name is Evgenia Stetsenka. I go by the name Jenny or Jane, and I am 27 years old. I've been in America since 2003, and that's the whole reason why I came here. I would like to do modeling, acting, and uh, apply my creative skills and hopefully um, not get famous, but <laughs> who doesn't want that? So uh, I've been trying to do this uh, since I was 16. I tried in Russia, but here I have seen more opportunities for myself. Good morning, Susie. Good morning, Floyd. You look particularly lovely this morning. What do you want, Floyd? For you to go to dinner with me tonight. I've said it before and I'll say it again. No. I'm quite the catch. I'm sure you were, mm, 50 years ago. That hurts, Susie. The truth does. Fine. Will you make me a cup of coffee? What do I look like, Floyd? Your maid? You know I don't like coffee. Just because you don't drink coffee, the rest of us have to suffer? I'm not stopping you from getting it. But you're the secretary. Not yours. You could be. In your dreams. <laughs> oh no, what the hell are you doing here? Glad to see you too, Dr. West. How long has it been? It's been seven months, two weeks, and four days. Not nearly long enough. This is a private office, Colonel, not your military base, but I'm going to be gracious and ask you once more before I kick you out on your pompous ass. What do you want? Well, are you going to answer me or do I get a delayed gratification of kicking you out? Still a little ticked off at me, huh? You have some nerve. You know that? First, you ignore my inquiries into David's death, stonewall my investigation at every turn, then you walk in here like we're close friends. Well, yeah, I'd say I'm still a little ticked. I did attempt to learn more about Captain Quaid's incident. Unfortunately, I was denied access to the files. You were denied access? I find that hard to believe. Doesn't your security clearance goes beyond top secret? That is classified information, Dr. West. Isn't it enough to know David is dead? No, it's not enough. Not when his widow, my sister, is collecting husbands the way you collect medals. I'm sorry. After five years, well, I'd hope Brenda, I, I mean, Mrs. Quaid, would have moved on. No progress in your research, I see. I take it. There's been plenty of progress on the disorder itself, just not on how a patient's family successfully copes with it. Brenda stood on shaky ground before David committed suicide. Now, in a way, she's doing her damnedest to join him. Five marriages in four years. She's beside herself with grief, and she doesn't know how to deal with it. And you feel responsible because you're an expert in PTSD and yet you still can't seem to help her? Do I feel responsible? Wouldn't you? Y yes, I, I would. Well, then thanks for holding off on platitudes and gratitudes. You're welcome. Does that mean all is forgiven? Not by a long shot. I make it a practice never to forgive men I don't trust. I would like to hear this Brenda stood on shaky ground part. I'm okay. just like really sad. I really want to hear the sadness in, yeah, in your exactly voice. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Because, you know, your sister is, is basically killing herself. You know, not eating, not sleeping, that type of stuff. Um, and so I just really want to hear your fear for her. And just that, that portion right there. Brenda stood on shaky ground before David committed suicide. Now, in the way, she's doing her damnedest to join him. Five marriages in four years. She's beside herself with grief and doesn't know how to deal with it. Spot on.
Can you just with a full on Russian accent say the last line? <laughs> the, uh, just the last? Yeah. Not for a long shot? Yeah. Okay. Just full Russian accent? Yeah, yeah mm. just naturally how you would say it, like you're really. <laughs> Not for a long shot. I make it practice never to forgive men I don't trust. Давайте поговорим просто по-русски. Зачем? Just offer to speak Russian.